Hey, so are you guys trying to remove something from your category menu in BigCommerce, but you don't want to break the link? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. Before we get started, my name is Cal. I'm a developer, store owner just like you, and I run the e-commerce growth community on Facebook. Each week, I post more videos. So if you like this one, subscribe and hit the bell. Blah, blah, blah. Let me show you how to do it. I'm going to go to my screen. And so this is just a plain version of Cornerstone. And we have in the menu, main cat, fish food, fish and plant care, pond maintenance. And we're looking at the fish food category right now. So if we want to remove this from the menu, uh, we're going to go to products and then product categories. And we'll see all the categories here. And basically these green check marks mean that it belongs in the menu. But there is a side thing that you should know about BigCommerce, which is that if we tell it, it doesn't, but it's not visible in the menu. Big commerce makes it not visible at all, period. So by marking this as X'd out, it's going to take it out of the menu. But watch what happens when I refresh on that page. You can see it took it out of the menu, but it also turned that page into a 404 error. So that category is no longer visible, which is really bad. If you have links coming into it, if you have any PPC traffic going to it, you know, if Google is sending traffic to it still, you don't want to 404 your page, right? But we do want to remove it out of the menu and we don't want to have to, you know, hire a developer every time we sneeze. So there's actually a really easy way to do this in big commerce. And number one, you know, you can hire a developer and he could remove or she could remove this from the menu with some kind of custom CSS. It's not super hard, but it does require a developer and you don't have to have a developer. So let me show you a sneaky way to do this. Number one, we go into products, categories, and we create a category. You can call this whatever you want. Let's just call it sale. And save and exit. Now I don't want sale to come up in the menu either. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck it. And I'm going to take fish food and I'm going to check it again. So now it's live again, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually drag it to be underneath sale. So the parent item is not visible in the menu, but the child item is marked as visible in the menu, but it's not going to come up because it should be in the drop down of sale, which isn't there in the first place, right? So fish food, the page, the category page should continue to exist now, but not be referenced in the menu. And again, you can call the parent item, whatever you want right so come back to the front end i'm going to refresh it you can see my fish food page my fish food category page is back and running i can see it i don't see sale in the menu i don't see fish food in the menu so we have solved all our problems um, this is one thing i show people over and over again on big commerce it's really really easy it's been this you know this has been i don't even know if you can call it a hack uh, it's been available for a decade to do it this way and it's really easy once you know how to do it so hopefully that helped you guys uh, if you did find it helpful then subscribe hit the bell you can see more videos join my group ecommerce join ecommercegrowth.com um, and if you need somebody to help you with your store hit me up at epic design labs really appreciate you guys and we'll talk soon thanks